The second driving force when it comes to the trans issue is more, I think, metaphysical and epistemological. It, it's got to do with this notion coming out of, I think, the postmodernists, the, 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 you know, and, and the, um, the generally modern kind of modern philosophical thinking, that reality isn't what it is. Facts are not what they are. Reality is kind of fluid. There is no truth. There is no nature. There is no identity. And there's a sense in which trans kind of fits really, really neatly into this. A, a strong, uh, you know, uh, um, primacy of consciousness. You can be whatever you want to be. You're born a man. You can be, you can be a woman. You, whatever you feel like. Whatever your emotions dictate. So there's a strong push of, um, of, of, of this, you know, this fluid nature. You, you, you don't have to, you know, let's not let nature limit us. Let's not let biology limit us. Let's not let reason limit us. Whatever you feel like. A, a real, as I said, strong primacy of consciousness, which I think is very, very appealing. A rejection of reality, of facts, of truth, of, of nature, of the nature of things, and an embrace of anything goes. Anything goes. Complete subjectivism. And this is where, partially where, you know, this, this idea of 98 genders comes from or whatever. It's, yeah, my identity is fluid. I feel like a man today. I might feel like a woman tomorrow. Or I might feel like neither on another day, like three quarters man, quarter woman, or, or something completely new. Maybe I feel like an alien tomorrow. Uh, you know, and then uh, when it's applied to race, they kind of, they kind of worry about that. They, they're not too happy when somebody who's white-skinned declares that they feel like they're black and therefore they're black. They don't quite buy that. But... You know, they, they, there's, they, they, and, and they don't like concepts. And they don't like concepts that are too um, rigid, right, that have actual definitions, that actually mean something. They want that, too, to be kind of subjective, kind of eh, touchy-feely, kind of. So that, you know, the, 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 there's, there's the big, uh, you know, debate about what is a woman uh, you know, they, they come up with different, different, different characterizations of, of, um, of biological women versus women who choose to be women for a day, for a month, for a year, forever. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's really fascinating to watch because it's, it may be more than in any other area in, our, in life, um, they have taken a real issue, which is these people who are really trans, who really do have an issue, a biological, if you will, um, uh, what do you call it, a borderline case, which is rare and unusual and, and at the fringe. They've taken something like that and they've used this as an excuse to declare that there are no borders, that there, there is no clear definitions, that there is no reality, that everything's in flux, that everything is whatever you want it to be. And it's this, it, it is a manifestation of this uh, dominant, uh, this dominates the left, but is, is really throughout our culture. And that is this um, whim worship and, uh, and emotionalism and whatever I feel like, that's what goes. You know, as long as it's in the framework of altruism and collectivism. And all of this is kind of, it's, it's, a kind of a, it's kind of weird, and we'll get to this when we talk about the right, it's kind of weird because on the one hand, it's the ultimate fragmentation. Indeed, every individual is a different species, maybe a different gender, maybe a different, because we're all different. So there's a complete fragmentation where, you know, uh, we keep getting to smaller and smaller and smaller groups and more marginal groups and more marginal groups. And it's, we're fragmenting everything. And you, you, there are no principles. There's no... There's no unifying factor in 99 genders, and even those are fluid. So they, 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 there's nothing solid. It's a complete disintegration, a complete disintegration of the mind. There's no absolutes. 
other than the validity of disintegration. So it's a completely disintegrated philosophy. It's a com well, philosophy is too strong of a word. To a complete disintegrated view of the world. And, you know, with, with anything like that, so on the one hand, they fragment it into the smallest of pieces, right? Uh, individuals who have all these different characteristics. And on the other hand, because that doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't leave them with anything, and it does, certainly doesn't leave them with anything that, 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 that is uniting, that, that drives them, they have to ultimately revert to some form of collectivism to gain all these crazy little individual individual uh, feeling beings into groups and into collectives and into and and they start categorizing them. So people are now categorized by by all these different fragments, but they're still members of group. And, and at the end of the day, what really matters to them is the group identity. So, um, you've got this complete deterioration epistemologically of people's ability to think. And the consequence of that are always tribalism and collectivism. And the left is, of course, massively tribal and collectivist. And you see that with the rise of racism in, um, in, the, uh, in the kind of, uh, on the left, uh, racism that demands that you know the 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 the, the majority the, the those with white skin feel bad about it and those with black skin you know embrace their suffering as as a virtuous thing and 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 uh, and, and, and demand some form of justice and you see it in the in the uh, uh, you know in you either you're with the trans or against the trans it's all one big um, One big, it, it, it's again, it's, it's, it's all about tribes. And, and the way they treated J.K. Rawlings, who's a leftist, right, but a feminist, is because she questions some of the, some of the tribalistic views regarding trans. And, and it's not that she's against trans. She's not for discriminating against trans. She's quite the opposite. But she doesn't buy into this. You can be whatever you feel like being, and gender doesn't matter, and gender doesn't exist. And she argues, no, gender does exist. That's why we're fighting over gender, and there's a difference between a man and a woman. That's why men tend to abuse women, not women abusing men. And that's why we have to, you know, the whole Me Too, that's why we have to fight against men abusing us. And, but if there are no genders, and if it's all fluid, and not, then that, I mean, she's sane enough to recognize that that's insane. But that's unacceptable because the tribalism have dogma and, and collectivistic dogma. And you, you either follow the dogma, you belong to the tribe, or you're out. You don't count, you, 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 you're completely out. So this, this disintegration ultimately forces people into, into kind of a tribal mentality because the, the, they hold, uh, they, they're incapable of thinking, they're incapable of generalizing. They need a dogma in order to be able to survive. But it's a completely fragmented, disintegrated ideology. So uh, the trans issue is perfect for the left. It's perfect for the left because it serves these two strong functions. It, it both uh, it has its core and oppressed group and it challenges, and it's, it's, it's subjectivism on steroids. It's complete epistemological subjectivism on steroids that they can embrace and they can celebrate and they can, and they can run around and advocate for in absolutist terms. Isn't it amazing how subjectivists uh, have their absolutes and have, uh, and have something that, 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 that is unequivocal, that they know exactly what it is? Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. 
show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.